Welcome to Fast and Furious Game Development with JavaScript and AI. In this course, we're going to learn game development from the ground up with JavaScript while taking advantage of state-of-the-art generative AIs like ChatGPT. To accomplish this, we'll need to learn HTML plus CSS to build basic web pages to run our games in. Then we need a language to write our games with. JavaScript is our choice, and with it, you can create browser-based games that rival desktop performance. Next, once we have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript mastered, then we dive into computer graphics and game development. Finally, we take a turn into what would be science fiction just a couple years ago. With ChatGPT and various prompting techniques, you will learn to collaborate with ChatGPT and develop games with this AI. And in fact, we'll create a, about a half dozen games together. With that in mind, let me tell you why I made this course. I created this course for three kinds of students. The first student simply wants to learn HTML and JavaScript in a fun way. I can't think of a better way to learn a new language other than learning it by writing games and game algorithms, along with interactive feedback. The next student I developed the course for wants to learn how to make games on browsers and of course mobile devices that have browsers. JavaScript games can run on billions of devices. There's no installation, no operating system, nothing. As long as the client's browser supports HTML5 and JavaScript, your games and applications will run. Finally, the last and most exciting reason I developed this course is to put together and to show you how to direct generative AIs like ChatGPT to generate working code that is of astonishing complexity, such as a game. I really wanted to see if ChatGPT could be used to help make games, and the answer is yes. My name is Andre Lamoth. I'm a computer scientist and electrical engineer. I hold degrees in mathematics, computer science, and electrical engineering. I've been developing games, software, and hardware for decades professionally. Additionally, I'm a professional author and have written many books and articles on electrical engineering, computer graphics, and game development. Lastly, over the years, I have founded a number of software and hardware companies, including Extreme Games, and my current company, Nerve Networks, that develops and manufactures embedded systems and gaming hardware. The course lectures follow a common pattern. I'll introduce the subject, we'll talk theory about it, maybe some history to give you some context, then we'll write some code. We may debug the code and iterate. We'll continue this pattern and learn the basics of HTML and CSS to host our games. Next, we'll spend quite a bit of time learning JavaScript from the ground up. We'll take a look at computer science, learn the fundamentals, and build numerous working examples that build on one another, all culminating in writing half a dozen games from scratch with ChatGPT. Using this pattern, you'll get a deep understanding grounded in both theory and practical coding. By the end of the course, you'll be able to develop your own games with HTML and JavaScript with or without the help of a generative AI like ChatGPT. Together, we'll work through every step of creating a number of classic games. By the end of the course, you'll be able to develop your own games with HTML and JavaScript with or without the help of generative AIs like ChatGPT. Together, we'll work our way through every step of creating a number of classic games. We'll start with Classic Pong, which is the hello world of game development. So we had to do that one. Next, we'll follow this by Breakout, which is quite a bit more complex and includes basic physics modeling. Then we'll move on to Flappy Bird, simple but very addictive. Next, I wanted to do something with some classic computer science problems, some data structure problems in mind, to see if we could make the game fun also. So I picked Classic Snake. Next up, I really wanted to push the envelope of what ChatGPT could do, and really see if I could create a fully functional large arcade game. So we picked Space Invaders, with sound, music, and the works. Finally, we finish off with a change of pace and create a board game, Blackjack, that turned out better than I had hoped. So this is a lot of fun to create something a little bit different than all the arcade games. And then, as a bonus, I ported one of the C++ games from one of my books, a 3D game in JavaScript, to show you how you might port something from C++ on a different platform to JavaScript. The course is broken up into five major sections. Let's take a look. In section one, we're going to install any applications we need, such as digital paint and sound editors. Additionally, we'll take a look at the process of signing up for our online editor that we're going to use, Replit, and of course, we're going to get an account on OpenAI so we can use ChatGPT. Also in this section, you're going to download all the assets and files used in the course in one big zip file. 
This includes a number of my game development books, which you're going to get free digital copies of when you enroll in the course. In section two, we're going to learn HTML5 and CSS. We'll start with the basics of how HTML works. We'll build our first website. And then as the lectures progress, we'll learn more and more about how to build web pages and websites, as well as how to style them with CSS. We'll finish off with learning how to interface HTML and JavaScript. In section three, this is where we're going to spend most of our time, and it's broken up into two parts. First, we're going to learn the basics of JavaScript from the ground up and first principles. We're going to start with what's a variable. We're going to work our way through conditional logic, loops, functions, objects, how to interact with web pages. Then once we have the language under our belt, then the lectures dive into computer graphics, animation, and game development. You'll learn all about the HTML5 canvas, how to draw images, bitmaps, interface with the keyboard and mouse, play sounds and music, and much more. By the end of this section, you'll be able to develop complete graphics applications and games yourself. In section four, we pivot to artificial intelligence and discuss how generative AIs and LLMs such as ChatGPT can be used as coding assistants to collaborate with. You'll learn how to prompt ChatGPT to extract out of it fully functional programs. Additionally, we'll review a number of previous experiments I've developed so you can see what the AI is capable of. In section five, this is where we're gonna bring everything together and build fully functional JavaScript games. We'll use ChatGPT as a tool to create skeletons of a number of games, and then once we have a working model, I'll finish each game off by adding graphic sound, music, and gameplay features. Then we'll have a code review and go over the entire code base for every game. Now, who should enroll in this course? Well, anyone that wants to learn JavaScript game development from the ground up. Also, if you wanna learn HTML and CSS and JavaScript in a fun way, this is going to be a great way to accomplish that. Game development in general is a great way to learn any computer language. Additionally, you might be a professional desktop coder that uses C++ or Java and you just never got around to learning browser-based coding. This is a perfect way to learn those new skills. Finally, the ultimate goal of this course is to use game development as a platform to collaborate with generative AIs like ChatGPT and show that these can help you build very complex programs and border on the edge of science fiction with their capabilities. So if you're intrigued with learning to use AI to help you code, then you're in the right place. I hope to see you in the class.